Hello, Sagittarius. It's nice to see you again for my subscribers. For those of you who are new, my name is Chandler Christine. I'm an intuitive, and this is your August 2018 tarot reading. Man, have you guys been receiving intuition? Man, have you guys been receiving positive energy geared towards health and balance mentally and spiritually? And man, is this Leo season going to feel good once you enter August? This kind of energy in combination creates momentum that is really beneficial for you guys. Um, those of you who are looking at maybe making some changes uh, will find the willpower within this month's energy to do so. Uh, things just become very clear and it's like, why not go forward now? You know, I have all of the pieces of the puzzle. It's really cool. Whatever you guys have been working on, you really, I feel like a lot of you have even gone so far as to change your life's direction the past two months, you know. I think a lot of this has been intellectual. I think a lot of this has been emotional. Uh, and with these eclipses, we're kind of diving a little bit deeper. We're wanting to know what has been holding us back from well-deserved or earned achievements. The Queen of Fire keeps staring at me as I shuffle. She's been on top <laughs> the whole time. You guys are really in your power. You guys are in your element, which is so refreshing for where Sagittarius has been the last six months. It's not been easy. You're finally feeling, it's almost like you're coming home into a very natural energy for you. I, I'm really glad to see that. I have two Sagittarius sisters. So boy, oh boy, will they be happy to hear this. <laughs> You're getting a break, Sagittarius. I'm hearing easy sailing. And maybe it's these realizations that make things so much more easy on you because there's not as much conflict. So some of you are feeling immature. Some of you are feeling inexperienced in some area of your life. With the youth, we see that there's an adventure or a journey in front of you and a large part of you is kind of nervous. Um, in moving forward. You may be embarking on something completely new to you, right? And some may even regard you as being a youth, immature, naive, inexperienced, okay? But that doesn't mean it is so, okay? The contrasting or polarization happening from the sun and the moon in July, these eclipses in combination bringing forth a lot of the blockages, the barriers, the fears, into these realizations that are propelling us forward finally in ways that we have actually been stagnating ourselves. A lot of this has to do with self-love. A lot of this has to do with inner strength. You know, not so much this combative uh, warrior type fire mentality that is so easy to slip into, but rather a more gentle, graceful, and patient approach with this divine feminine um, just kind of accelerating the desires or the reasons why in our life. It seems as though they're just becoming more clear and we're able to move forward in such a way that isn't breaking ground as much it is, as it is just taking the next step. So with this youth card, we really see your guides are wanting to propel you forward in some area of your life and some of you may feel a little resistant. Some of you may be worried about what other people think. Some of you uh, may be a little naive or egocentric and thinking you're just gonna take it all and and they're going to carry you on their shoulders, not realizing the hard work that it actually does entail along the way. The hero, okay, the hero wants you to understand that in this kind of accomplishment or this venture that you're setting out upon, it's not really about what other people think. In the long run, this is all about you, Sag. This is about how you feel about yourself. This is how you create your story, and it is for the fact of you creating something beautiful because the youth, you know, 
has the potential to create a brand new world completely stemming from or dependent on his mindset. Um, so your perception, your mindset, your goals, your reasons why this very moral compass type of feeling I'm getting has to do with the destination that is a, p a potential in your life. And I'm seeing a lot of you wish to become the hero of your own story again. Uh, and this is a really good feeling that I'm getting. So what you guys are embarking upon actually is bringing you into closer alignment um, with where you ought to be. You know, it's not necessarily a destiny or a soul's mission, but it's something very tangible that will give you the recognition, the respect, and the reflection that you deserve you know, upon of, of what you deserve and about the kind of light you're able to shine, Sagittarius, when you're in your element. But again, you're going to feel a little bit of a newbie doing this. Some of you are really starting something new and you might be a little nervous about it. But what I see is it's promising, okay, the hero does not come up unless you've taken quite a long time in an effort to steer your life in a very good direction. Um, so then we have the six of fire, self, and emotions and intellect that come up. Okay, so again, emotions and intellect can be referenced to the eclipses. Self, okay, this is a very Sagittarius card. And what I see in this self card is that you are on this mission or you're going toward this destination in effort to know yourself. There's a large part of you that has spent a lot of time doing extracurricular activities that don't help you know yourself. And in all honesty, it seems as though th that has been a waste of time. Not necessarily because it's actually taught you a lot. And what we see here with the Six of Fire is that there's a uh, realization, okay? There's an effort to work with the forces and not against them in your life. Um, and there's an effort uh, from your guides to show you that you need to relinqu relinquish some control um, in, in order to balance the somewhat polarizing um, aspects of how you view your life. You can view your life at any moment as you being the immature, naive youth, or you can view your life during this process as being the hero of your own story, and you will feel very conflicted. And I'm getting that sense, and especially with the eclipses, that's the kind of energy here we're working with. We're working with polarizations. We're working with contrast in order to show us better where we should be going and the direction we should be headed in. So, at times, you will feel naive. You will feel unequipped or ill-prepared. Um, but really, this is kind of that magician type of energy coming through in an effort to show you that all the obstacles are really giving you all the tools that you need to succeed. So you will become the hero of your own story if you do doubt yourself. There could be some legalities with the Six of Fire, uh, either coming to fruition, um, something being agreed upon, arbitration, mediation, something very legal, or just a decision that's being made in effort to move forward and kind of squash some of the um, indecisiveness that you may have been going through. So we have the devil in the tower, which is very interesting. Okay, so as I'm talking about the six of fire, we're seeing the devil and the tower. And it's kind of interesting because the Sagittarius that I'm thinking of actually picked out these cards as we were as we were going over them. So this probably has a heavy resonance with the person that I know. Um, but then again, I feel like it, it kind of had a universal um, energy towards it that because she's a Sagittarius, a lot of these things are coming up in her lifetime so that she can experience what her soul wanted to her, her to experience when she comes into this lifetime. Okay, so that is pertaining to you, Sag, the devil and the tower. You're walking up to this ending, okay? There's no reason that you should be hiding from this closure that you're getting any longer because really the, the fear that is stemming right now is in order to heal um, what you can in an effort to move forward away from it, right? To gain some momentum, uh, to gain some notoriety or respect in your journey, Okay, you're not going to be revered or looked at as the youth for very long. So the kind of people who doubt you now are going to be very surprised when you realize the certain blockages that are keeping you from 
um, ending this cycle of suffering, so to speak. The devil has everything to do with addictions. It has to do with habitual patterns, um, negative influences, you know, things that literally are keeping you away or down um, from your potential. So, you know, it's not an external force in all its ways. It can very well be from within you that you have this little part of you that has kept you from uh, attaining some kind of agreement with the universe, right? With the forces that be. Uh, to teach you the lessons that you came here to learn. And it's not until that you learn them, Sagittarius, that you're going to be able to claim yourself as the hero of your own story. And it's the clinging on to the past that is literally keeping you from this recognition. Um, you know, the devil, unfortunately, does things for recognition a lot of the time. He's kind of the ego gone awry. And it wants you to know that all of these habitual patterns, all of these um, temporary or uh, quick fixes, these satisfactions that you've been maybe overindulging in have not actually been for your highest benefit. And these are what are actually coming to an end this month. With August, we can see it being or resonating very strongly with the number eight. Eight is very action-oriented. It speaks of karma and experience, reaping life's rewards or um, debts, so to speak. So with the number eight, there's a call to action, okay? July was very insightful, okay? It even had a psychic essence to it. Um, and we learned a lot through these eclipses, okay? And retrogrades, mind you, okay? So this is not neglectful of some of the retrograde um, action that has been going on, but, um, you know, with this, with this devil card and with this tower card, it's almost like you're, through these realizations, you're putting this to rest on your own. I don't see very many outward influences, and that's because you're actually on a journey of this self-realization. And the first realization must be that you haven't known yourself, and it, it's actually directing you toward unknowing yourself. Tearing down what you thought you knew and maybe gaining some of that humility in the process to begin on something that you have absolutely no idea what's to come, you know, but that's okay. It's like, that's fine. This tower needs to come down. You need to realize you don't know what you're doing. You need to realize that in an effort to get where you were, you're at now, you had to go through a lot of discomfort and it's taught you a lot in the process. So it's really, really interesting, Sagittarius. Some of you are leaving a situation that is legal. It could be binding. It could be contractual. You could have uh, finances involved um, in, this, in this ending. But I do see it coming down. I see it crashing and crumbling. Okay. So two of cups come up, you know, Sagittarius, you are infamous for detaching from your emotions at times of, uh, that are unsure, right? Insecurity kind of stemming from a place of anxiousness or vulnerability um, sometimes shuts your emotional reciprocity down. And with this emotional, uh, emotions and intellect card, we can see that the reciprocity between you and another, right, a loved one, another person, a male or female, um, could be cut off at this time. Um, you know, this legal situation even could be stemming from uh, a relationship gone awry. So what this is actually coming through as is, is a, 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 karm, a karmatic effort to show you your role in this situation, the naivety that you may have had, the purpose of either having this relationship come to a close and crumble down, and maybe even making amends within yourself, drawing up some truce between you and another. This could very well be another Gemini, an air sign. But the purpose being for you to 
be on your way, be on your destiny, and be the hero of your own story. Take some accountability for your actions and where you've directed your life so far. Okay, let's learn a little bit more about self. What exactly about Sagittarius are you learning? Okay, so the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a very interesting card to come up because it's it relates to you becoming the teacher at some point, right? And with the Six of Fire, we see this stark uh, or acute, rather, similarity, right? With the dark and the light on either side. Um, and this Hierophant figure sitting in the middle, you know, drawing up conclusions or... Uh, setting in stone certain beliefs or, or um, outcomes, rather. And it's a mutual agreement. It's in the force of nature, right? In unison of these two pol polarizing um, entities or energies, you know? And it can be a very fiery card, you know? So it's very interesting. The Hierophant also relates to a very Taurian energy, and we do have the devil um, resonating with Capricorn. So some of you may be involved with an earth sign, but what I'm seeing is this was actually a catalyst for you because what I asked for was clarity to self. And so the reason behind this uh, agreement, the reason behind this experience has all been to accumulate or to bring you toward uh, reaching some kind of destination of self-awareness, uh, tradition, being very steeped or rooted and uh, convicted in your beliefs, uh, and, and an ability to teach that as well. Knowing yourself, um, without a Sagittarius knowing yourself, that's kind of a very sad Sagittarius. Uh, you know, and, and, and there's nothing sadder than a sad Sagittarius. I really hate when you guys feel a little lost um, and, you know, there's no more powerful place for a Sagittarius to be than within themselves. You know, they have to have this sense of direction. They have to have this fire under their toes to propel their motivations. Um, and the motivation should be, or the intention should be, uh, an effort to know yourself. Because at the end of the day, that is where you feel the most complete Sagittarius. And what you're doing through this process is learning how to be the teacher so others may follow in your footsteps, so others may really feel a connection to your story. You may be expressing yourself. With the Two of Cups, we see that you could be a writer or a lyricist or um, an artist that is, uh, that is, doing this very intimate piece, you know, intimate dance, so to speak, with their art, um, with their life's work, with their destiny, with their path. And it's really in an effort to cultivate something that's unique, um, that will serve you for a long time to come, but is of utmost importance, very self-expressive as well. Um, but you want it to come from the right place, and that's where the Hierophant really has to be mindful. Uh, you know, if the Hierophant comes up in reverse, it's not, it's not very mindful, okay? It lacks the self-awareness or the balance necessary in order to communicate and to deliver these very profound messages that are actually stemming from within you um, in a way that is understandable, digestible, um, reciprocated, um, you know, and unbiased. So it's, it's a hefty... Uh, goal or you know it's a hefty responsibility to be in a Hierophant but it is it is your next step of evolution Sagittarius I mean you're coming back into uh, alignment with yourself and it's through this journey that you have realized there's been much pain or suffering at points that have been self-inflicted that have been a limitation uh, put upon yourself denying yourself the power that is innately and uh, naturally yours um, and it's an effort so you can show the world what you have to offer now that you've been through such a, a hard cycle. This does tell me that some cycles are coming to an end, uh, as well as some cycles are further evolving. Three of Cups. Interesting, Sagittarius. 
I think this all has to do with the emotional reciprocity that you have been denying yourself. With the Three of Cups, we can see these three maidens um, dressed all in, in different colors, coming back into unison, uh, raising their cups in celebration. Maybe there's a time of, um, you know, real acknowledgement awaiting you, but you're not allowing yourself to get there. Or maybe it's it's denied to you at this time because the effort, the work, um, the understanding isn't quite there yet. And that's okay because what I'm seeing here is this is a longer journey than you may be expecting. Uh, you may want to accomplish so much in a very short amount of time. And that's kind of where the youth mentality comes in is this may be a work in progress for some time. You may actually have to put in your hours and effort uh, to sustain or succeed in some area of life that is, is somewhat difficult but very transformative. Okay, and this is also, you know, allowing you some reflective time over what exactly you do want to want to attain and how much effort you actually put into it and who exactly you work with and what's deserving of your energy. And it's a lot, right? And we're all going through this Sagittarius every sign. I haven't seen anyone come up so far that isn't doing this very deeply internal and feminine work, um, especially leading out July with this lunar eclipse. It's going to be bringing some very interesting aspects of our shadow self up. Um, we're going to be, you know, really kind of exploring ourselves, uh, exploring our sensuality um, and the depths of where we take our truths. And I feel like in the past you haven't ver been very deep maybe in some areas of your life. And it's almost that you wish to be deeper. You wish to be more profound, view the world even in a little bit more romantically. Um, but you have to lay to rest some of the habits that have been keeping you stagnant. So Prince of Swords and the Fool come up. You know what? I, I love the Fool so much. I'm just going to show it to you in an upright position. It really is beautiful. And the Prince of Swords is very beautiful. Um, the, you might be actually doing s some work in the line of beauty or, or um, beautification, making things pretty. Um, you know, even physically, physically demanding. It, it might whip you into shape or something because I'm getting this... Uh, physical feeling that's very action oriented, but it's of understanding as well. So, you know, this could be as insignificant as maybe wanting to go on a diet and your guides are like, yeah, do that. That'll benefit you. Or it could be as significant as, um, as, as, as you transforming your life through the active energy work, you know, it, it can be very deep and insightful where you take this energy. But what I'm seeing the potentials in this Prince of Swords and the Fool is that you're starting something that has a lot of momentum to it. You're starting something that requires a lot of hard work and effort, um, you know, cutting through the illusion, really being very focused. But but this is something also that you need to have a t an ounce of humility in, in an effort to accomplish something very grandiose, very big. Uh, and with the Fool, we're seeing that the, the this destination or this goal is somewhat abstract, right? But but it's this optimism that you must have, but coupled with humility, of course, because when we get a little too optimistic, then we get blindsided by some of the hardship um, or some of the information, the, the knowledge that accompanies this intellectual growth that you're having, this self-awareness that you're having. So, you know, don't gallop off the, don't gallivant off the cliff, right? Use your brains, use your intellect, be humble about this process. This has a lot of momentum and you're starting something that is beautiful, but then again, uh, your passions, um, they must have respect for the process. Okay, passion and process. Any more clarity for Sagittarius regarding either the youth or the hero? I hope this makes sense to you. I just see very beautiful Venusian people. You know, there's also a very Tauran feeling. Some, some of you may be involved with a Taurus. But what I'm seeing also is that um, there's a new beginning. 
you know, without, without it actually being in front of our faces. Six of Wands. Okay, so this is actually either a career endeavor or something that you're trying to accomplish, Sagittarius, something that you've been avoiding or haven't been able to do for so long. You're really thirsty for whatever success is at your fingertips and you want to prove yourself and you want to have all this recognition and you have onlookers. Um, and the way that you express yourself is being heard in such a way that is of more importance than ever, or at least ha ha more important than it's been for a while. And with the Six of Wands, it, it kind of mentions to take precaution against this endeavor because people will inevitably be in awe of you. Um, but at that point, I'm not sure it will be as satisfying as you really think it will be. Uh, you see this man trotting into, into town with people um, at the horse's feet, just worshiping him and acknowledging him for his efforts. But it seems as though he's not really counting his blessings, is he? He's just kind of waltzing into town. like uh, It's so deserving. Um, and although it is deserving, it's not very appreciated. So you wonder how satisfying it is in the long run anyways. So I hope that this brought you some clarity over maybe something you're wanting to start or leave. Um, for those of you who want a personal reading, you know where to find me. I'll link my dis uh, website in the description box below. I do want to mention my artwork in the back, just gracing our reading with such powerful sacred geometry. Um, I swear, since I've hung it, it has greatly impacted my dreams, um, brought forth a lot of subconscious um, habits, you know, to be recognized. Uh, the high vibration is definitely useful here. Been receiving a lot of downloads, and I really truly think it has an impact. Um, this is made by a woman named Rachel. She's an Aquarius, so she brings forth a lot of um, spacious ideas, you know, room for growth, and her artwork really translates that. So uh, I just wanted to mention that she'll have a uh, website linked in the description as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the reading and pull one spirit oracle card so alchemy 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 sagittarius so you are actually leveling up okay in some area of your life you are knowing and realizing that you have the potential and power to be the hero of your own story in this situation and what where this goes is totally up to you you make amends with the past you let things go you release what needs to be released with this tower and the devil, you have self, you rediscover yourself, you become the teacher of something, you use your intuition, you use your, um, you use your uh, intentions, you know, in the right ways, and it proves to be very useful to you and others, you know, working with others, but it's in this process of uh, self-healing that you're able to heal others, and that's such a, such a microscopic way of looking at this energy. You have to heal yourself in order to help heal others in in order to become uh, the change you wish to the change you wish to see you must start within yourself and that is directly what the hero is telling me uh, be the wish you change to see or a wish to see i'm stumbling over my words because i'm not even sure words matter here this this transformation is happening uh, within you and it doesn't need your understanding it just needs you to go with the flow it just needs you to be humble in the process it needs you to be present uh, for this change to occur so alchemy I'm so so happy to hear this um, I'll finish with reading the back of this card your inner light shines when you are at peace within yourself and the world around you let go of the struggle and feel the beauty inside you allow all to just be and just be you bye Sag